Nintendo Switch sets the all-time sales record. Wow, selling 4.8 million units on U.S. soil. What's up, YouTube? Fire Phoenix King here today, and today we'll be talking about Nintendo Switch. And this is to all. This is. This is how this video. I'm gonna talk about how this is gonna impact the industry, gamers, and as Nintendo fans because this is great. Of course, as a Nintendo fan, you know I'm like, yes, you know Nintendo's at the top. Yes, yes, yes. You know it, you always get that satisfied feeling when you have something that you love, just kind of you know succeeding, and, and that's natural. But I'm also a gamer, and I'm not gonna talk badly about the other companies or put them down because everybody does what they need to do in order to have this industry succeed but Nintendo is on top of their game no matter where you, whether you're a PlayStation fan, Xbox One fan or a Nintendo fan you have to acknowledge that Nintendo has definitely stepped up of course I understand a lot of these games are remastered and some of you guys are waiting for new games I completely understand and if you're waiting for a game that you know draws your attention so much that you're willing to buy it because there's already you know other games that basically you should buy it because there's Mario, Zelda you know and then there's third party like Doom but I understand because they're remastered so I understand if you're wanting to weigh you know what's new but back on topic Nintendo sold 4.8 million units in 10 months that's insane that is insane that is 800,000 more than that than what the Wii did in the same time frame that's crazy that's very crazy and if you really think about it that's just in the US soil alone that number is not gonna stop it's gonna keep going and like I said as a Nintendo fan you're like you smile you 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 you, you can't you can't you just you, you can't help but to smile at the big end but you know what's very interesting is that you know not everybody that gets a switch gets it from Mario and Zelda Nintendo has openly stated that 60% of Switch owners bought the Mario game or have the Mario game in their collection and 55% owning Breath of the Wild. That number is very, you know, it, it's always kind of been like that, you know, Mario kind of always sells more because, you know, it's Mario. Easy to pick up, it's a platform, and then we got Breath of the Wild, which I highly recommend if you haven't played it yet. Game of the Year, enough said. Enough said. But, you know, we also got other games coming up, Metroid and, you know, Pokemon, and then of course we have third party, Bayonetta 3, and we have so much more, and he, right, that's always what we talk about, just those three, right? <laughs> but, you know, we have a Nintendo Direct coming up, well, fingers crossed, Nintendo Switch presentation, and they're gonna show off even more content, and hopefully that pushes other buyers to buy this console because sales translate to attractiveness for other publishers you want to put your game where a lot of people are buying the consoles so this is something I always talk about when I talk about the switch sure we have third party we have big giants like Bethesda supporting the system Rockstar supporting the system. We have big triple A hitters from you know a third party's perspective. However, those are not the only third party third party companies that should be on the console. If you're not a fan of Call of Duty, that's fine. But why not have it on the system? Why not have it on the system that you could take on the go? That you can easily put it on the dock, play on your TV. Playing a big widescreen TV if you want, but the, the minute it's time to go, take the game with you. That is amazing, and that's what drives this console. That's what did it for this the Switch. You know, Nintendo has always dominated the handheld market, and they combine their handheld market with the uniqueness of their consoles, home consoles, and they created the Switch, and it worked. It set the all-time sales record. That, that should say a lot about the... Switch now, like I said, if you're just not you know into agreement about the Switch, you're still not gonna get it because you know you got your own personal opinions. That's fine, but you cannot argue facts, and the facts is, Nintendo Switch has set the all-time sales record for U.S. soil, and that's huge. That is very huge. Now, of course, right? 
some people would say, well, if the if the PS5 gets, you know, the all times out, you're not going to do a video. Probably not. You're right. But that goes back to what I said at the beginning where I'm a Nintendo fan, man, and I just I love it when it succeeds. But, of course, if the PS5 or the Xbox One X, if the Xbox One X would have done this, I would have still, you know, talked about it. It's still cool when somebody in the gaming industry succeeds. But when your favorite company succeeds, you just can't help but to smile and to really think about what's next. You know, so far we've gotten a lot of games from Nintendo and that's uh, that's great. They got this pace coming and it, it's amazing. You know, still got Yoshi, Kirby, um, and uh, Metroid. And it's crazy that they're just pumping out all these games at the same time. But, you know, what's next? What is next for the console? And that is where this direct will, will tell us. Because this direct will tell us what games are in store, what games we can look forward to, what third parties really have our back, and what we can expect to play in 2018. Because, believe it or not, even I, I love Mario and Zelda, but I can also, play, you know, I can, there's only so much you can do once you've hit 100%. But the story here is really, it's, it's really crazy because, you know, people are often saying, you know, no one's going to buy a Switch, no one's buying, who's buying the Switch? Well, obviously, people are buying the Switch. That's a fact. And that's so crazy. And I, and I just really want to say that, you know, I just, I, I'm very happy, you know, with this, with my Switch. I can't speak to everybody about, you know, I can't speak... Um, for everybody when I say that because you know I understand there's some people like I said that, that don't agree with our thoughts even our own Nintendo brethren and sisters some of us don't agree with each other and you know it happens it, it's called taste it's called opinion it creates dialogue but what we do with that feedback determines what kind of persons we are or in in the in the case of the gaming industry it can determine what the company can do take that feedback either run with it and create something better or take that feedback and completely ignore it and we've definitely seen a few publishers do this which they don't even I, I'm not even gonna mention their names because they, they they just don't deserve you know to be spoken of but you know here we are and Nintendo Switch has set the all-time sales record of 4.8 million units sold. And people are going to look at me like, why do you care that much? You're not going to get that money. And it's, it's, it has, it doesn't have to do with the money. Obviously, it, there's no money involved. It's more of a gaming industry for gamers because we get more players that buy the console. And that just brings more business to the console. More people are going to want to develop for it. More more AAA games might come to it even if it means, you know, sacrificing more graphical power to get to get running on the Switch. Maybe sometimes they'll have to sacrifice uh, frames to make the game work. Now, I understand. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be one of those guys who go, oh, you know, I, I can play the game at 10 frames per second, uh, 240p. No, 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 no. We, we kind of have a standard now, even for Nintendo games or Nintendo consoles. You know, minimum 720p and, you know, max 1080p, 60 frames per second. That's kind of what, you know, we evolve as we play. And, you know, I still have my expectations as a Nintendo fan. I'm not going to excuse Nintendo for making a 240p, you know, 5 frames per second game. No, it doesn't work that way. I'm not that type of Nintendo fan where I'm just going in blind. I'm just making this video because I'm definitely passionate about Nintendo. And if I do sound like I'm a Nintendo fanboy, it's because truly I am. I am a Nintendo fanboy. I love Nintendo and I stand by them. And I think, I just I just really think that, you know, that it's my cup of tea. Um, their games, Mario, Zelda, it's, I, I love them. I love them. I love them. Now, like I said, I could play Call of Duty, some Destiny. I could also get on some Grand Theft Auto and, you know, Red Dead Redemption. I like, I love those big open world maps. And, you know, I'm, I'm a gamer, but I am a Nintendo fanboy where I would say I just lean more towards Nintendo. But I'm not going to defend Nintendo if it's you know in low standards and 
you gotta admit the switch was just so well executed and it's very impressive it's just it works it works it works and they set the all-time sales record and I think that's amazing that is super super cool but every time I get into a conversation about the switch I always get the whole you know it's for kids kids are buying this switch but that's not necessarily true and I think that Nintendo is doing a good job about leaving they're not leaving the kids behind the dust they're not doing that they're actually bringing them you know with with the new market and, and kind of like bringing in this new teens and uh, adults into gaming too and it works I mean they brought in doom guys doom and that is a game that if you already know what it is you were probably shocked when you saw it and you everybody was like oh like on the Nintendo switch Nintendo what's going on but you know they they've heard the voices and you have to admit one thing Nintendo is the only console you can play Mario and Zelda and if you could have your AAA third-party games in a Nintendo switch you would definitely probably consider minimum consider buying a switch or you probably already would buy a switch and that's absolutely crazy and just the only reason why I think that Nintendo is really being ambitious with this is you know they've already openly stated that they want to sell 20 million switch switches in 2018 and the reason I think that they're doing that is because there's only one game that could make that happen one game that can break the old another sales record and that would be Pokemon we've got a teaser you know last year saying that 20 on um, 2018 Pokemon's on the way and a lot of people are speculating that it might get delayed my thoughts on that is a little different I'll go ahead and save those thoughts for a different video but I will say this Nintendo hasn't delayed a game yet we don't know exactly where in development they were they did say you know now in development I believe or I think it was like something that they were starting but we don't necessarily know and like I said that's that's something for a different video but I definitely think that Nintendo has a plan and they would not have said when they said 10 million units for the first year I, I was literally one of the Nintendo fans that said okay they're they're getting too crazy for this but they made it happen Nintendo made it happen. Nintendo created a console that gives you both the luxury to play in HD and on the go, and I love it. Nintendo Switch deserves this. After the Wii U flop, it deserves this. this Nintendo deserves the spotlight. The Big N is back. The King is back. The King of Gaming is back. Where he went to, he, <laughs> he left for a little bit, but now he's back. And I'm happy for it. Thank you guys so much for listening to me. Like, share, and subscribe if you liked the video. And like always, keep on switching.